Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. We're starting off with major transformations in regards to endings for a lot of you guys. We have the Death card here next to the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Lover's card, the Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Justice card. All right. Okay, Aries, you may start to experience Pluto's return. We have Scorpio here with the Ten of Swords. This is bringing some type of ending. For some of you guys, this could be in regards to a connection or a relationship. Uh, the Two of Pentacles could indicate the need for balance or the need to make a decision. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles here, I feel that the person that you've been dealing with or you could be dealing with in the month of November is going to seem a little bit closed off. Um, the truth is with the with the lover's card here, I feel that they may be in between you and another person. So what I'm saying is for those of you guys that currently are dealing or are emotionally invested in someone um, and there's not much communication, it could be because in fact they are currently dealing with someone else. Now, I do see here the Page of Swords, uh, which could represent like looking at their social medias, um, looking at what they're doing. This could be you or this could be uh, the person that they are communicating with or that they're dealing with. Uh, for some of you guys, with the Eight of Pentacles, there is a lot of effort to be put in this connection in order to be able to get it off the ground in order to be able to see the progression of this relationship or if in fact it can actually progress with the justice card for some of you guys you may be dealing with the gemini with the libra with the scorpio type of energy or with an earth energy taurus capricorn virgo um here's the thing what they're saying is for those of you guys that have been single uh, with the death card and the ten of swords, that's quickly going to be coming to an end. I see opportunities in regards to love and romance. This could be you, in fact, Aries, having uh, like an opportunity to connect or almost vibe with two different people. And this could be you actually taking the time to try to analyze uh, who you feel would be a better suit for you, a better suitor or a better... Uh, woman for you now I do want to mention uh, they are saying here that for some of you guys you may be going through a situation where there was an ending of a relationship or an ending of some type of cycle in regards to partnerships in regards to love and romance and you're starting to you're starting to be more confident in yourself Aries you're starting to be more assertive uh, in yourself for some of you guys it could have been a relationship that really hit you hard um, this could have been a marriage this could have been some type of separation or divorce uh, for others of you it could have been just a very serious monogamous relationship where it came to a conclusion and it's almost as if you kind of lost your way or you lost your confidence but I see you guys for the month of November going into December being more assertive or believing more in yourself. I see you guys taking your power back and really giving or opening yourself up to the opportunity of love once again. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it could have been a separation that recently happened. This could have been a separation that happened, you know, a year ago, two years ago. But you're at a point where you're open and you're ready to start again. I see you guys being very happy where you're at at this present time. Uh, I do see stability around you guys. I see you guys very focused and determined. Um, and th that could have been the reason why you weren't really in a rush to find, you know, a relationship or to find love. Because I do see a lot of pentacles here. And this is an indication of uh, your financial stability really growing or starting to feel uh, like you're very passionate about what you're doing in regards to how you make money. But what they are saying is open your heart and open your eyes, Aries. You're going to start to notice more people being attracted to you. 
Um, I see an individual, and again, this could be a Gemini type of energy. It could be a Libra. It could be an Earth sign, or it could be a Scorpio. But if you are dealing with the Gemini type of energy, I feel them coming off a little bit, let's say, not very straightforward and to the point, but they definitely have their eye on you. Like I said, with the Page of Swords, this is an individual that's looking at all your social media. This is a person that wants to know or is asking about you to other people. They're really wanting to get a better idea of who you are. And in the month of November, you're going to notice that this situation starts to unfold uh, in regards to knowing or, or, or finding out that they are interested in you and that they're trying to get to know you better. Now, with the, the, uh, with the death card here and the ten of swords, again, like I said, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, that's quickly going to be coming to a conclusion. What they're saying here is that there's a transition that you're currently going through. And through this transition, there's going to be a lot of opportunities around you, Aries. This could be in regards to finances as well. So if you have, if you've been doing side jobs or you've been selling something or you've been making money on the side, pay very close attention to the people that are returning or that are bringing to you more people. That's where you can capitalize because I do see again opportunities for money and i feel that this money this energy is coming to you not necessarily from what you would consider your job your nine to five this is coming through uh, through other other means through other avenues um again like i said if you've been doing your own thing or you've been doing things on the side after your job really focus on that because that's really going to be bringing to you a lot of financial stability so keep doing a great job and focusing on that i do see that the month of december sorry the month of november uh going into december is going to be very financially um prosperous for you so definitely take those opportunities that are coming to you aries i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye